Hey everybody, welcome back for another Ever Crisis video. What's going on? It's your boy Time Bro, Time Row, whatever you want to call me. Uh, haven't had to take a couple days off there because I was gone, so didn't get too many videos from me. Um, but there is a big update, uh, new banner today, some new things coming to co-op here. Um, so I'm ready to check it all out. I'm excited. There's a lot of stuff, um, and we, I want to I want to see what's going on. And then let's also find out, you know. Is it worth pulling on this banner? That's what I want to find out, both not for myself, but for you guys. So there is a new day of seven bonus. So you log in for 10 days. It's just an, another one, FF7 day. So so we just get more. I guess it's going to be a total of 3,000. So I don't know if this includes the one that we had before or this one here only. Anyway, that's what it's looking like right now. Um, so we'll kind of, you know, we got that. So you got the day of seven. So there's, here's the new draw. So I'm assuming it's the Yuffie. There it is. So that's what the outfit looks like. And it is a, as far as I've already checked out, a dinner tray. It is pretty, it's kind of a funny weapon. That's for sure. New draw available. Is this, uh, what is this about? Ah, okay. The one time only 300 uh, paid gems. I will definitely be doing that because I'm saving my paid gems. And if you watch my other videos about what's the best value, 300 gems for a guaranteed five star and in a 10 draw. I think that's a, that's a, that's a crazy good value. hundred percent. You should do that. If, if you, if you are, doing like you know frugal paid draws like me um so let's go ahead and check out everything we got going on so we got the co-op battle i already went over that a little bit uh went with the oops i always click that so we already went over that a little bit um we got the paid draws here so we'll check that out um thank you for playing yep paid draws it's only for like a week one time so you can't do it a bunch and then you got the secret sweetheart so that's the new event so we'll check that out a little bit later i'm actually going to do that live on stream so we'll go ahead and check that out I always hit the X, man. I always forget. They put that little back button in a weird spot. Uh, and then we got the new Yuffie feature draw. We'll go ahead and check that out here in a minute. Uh, oh, feature weapons. Uh, this draw features one new weapon as the pickup target, making the overall drop rate for wishlist 1% higher than draws featuring two weapons. So that's cool, right? So anything wishlist, if you do draw on this, you're going to have a little bit higher chance of getting those wish list weapons, which is really good. And then you got the day of seven campaign going on right now. Daily... More 10 draws. Got to hand it to them, man. They're giving them out. They're giving them out the wazoo like it's crazy. So that's really cool. So if you guys need just free draws, you need anything, you're going to get more. And then we have, it looks like uh, 3,000 total. So they must be doing it for a full, like, yeah, it's two weeks. So it must be uh, details, blue crystals. Yeah. So they are given a total of 3,000. Why do they have maybe? Oh, is it just a gift? Oh, there. Wait, is it just? Oh, it's just... Uh, why am I chilling on these? That's funny. Oh, there we go. Okay, so you get 1,500 right off the bat, and then you can get 1,500, it looks like, from, from logging in daily. So there you go. So let's grab those while we're at it, and those Sephiroth tickets. I didn't even know those were chilling. So that's really cool. Grab those guys. So let's go ahead and check out uh, the new banner here. So here is the new the new banners. So this uh, we'll just leave this alone for now. There it is. Yuffie's new weapon. Dinner tray. Twister. And it's, uh, let's go look at here what it does as far as damage goes. Here's her new outfit. Oh, she's got, dude, she, she has wheelies, heelies, heelies, wheelies. I think that's what they're called. Are you serious? She has wheelies, heelies on? That's kind of funny. I'll give it to them. That is, that is kind of funny. Uh, it's very reminiscent of like a, what's it called? Like one of them old school diner restaurant like servers, you know, especially out of, out of the U.S. specifically back in like the forties and fifties. That's pretty neat. So here's a new weapon, dinner tray. Uh, it does it does twister, which is so this is deals 480% wind damage uh, to a single target, uh, and then at OB6 710 and OB10 850, you get boost attack, boost physical attack, boost wind potency. So this is kind of like the new standard, I, I guess you would say now for elemental weapons, where you're where you're getting like the element. Uh, at about 36 points and then whatever that uh, physical or magical attack at 40 points seems to be about the baseline there um, And then the support materia. Oh interesting. This one does not have any kind of sigil Ad added sigil break so that does hinder it a little bit compared to some other ones So that does that does lower its level a little bit in terms of possible useful I, I, it's still a good weapon overall because the damage is great and you can see here it heavily focuses on physical attacks that's not bad and then um let's go ahead and take a look at sparkling skater here that's what they call it sparkling skater 
So boost physical attack, wind arcanum. So this is pretty much standard for any arcanum weapons right now. You either have the magic or you have the physical attack with the element here for 35%. So my curiosity now is, is this officially the first weapon that is going to be is a power crept weapon? This seems like this might be the very first one because the only other wind weapons we've had so far so that are single target is you have this one from Aerith, which is the prism rod, right? So prism rod, it's a magical move. Boost HP, wind potency, it hits for 800%, not 850, right? So so again, we go look back at, at the dinner tray. Dinner tray hits for 850 at maximum, right? So there you go, 850%. So I think this is officially our first ever power crept weapon where the similar weapons that have the same percentage don't match as well let's take a look here though yeah so even dark heavens so dark heavens cannot match that either it is dark heavens is identical in every way so dark heavens unfortunately is now power crept and it is a, a, a 100 is power crept at this point the only advantage the advantage that dark heavens does have though is it does have the sigil boost but if you're looking for pure damage you're gonna get it here so that's where the that's where the biggest change is is you lose the sigil boost uh for the for the damage so that's a 50 percent damage you're getting the same physical attack you're getting the 40 you're getting the 36 but this is this is our first official power crap weapon so if you don't have if you don't have dark heavens like i've only ever pulled one this might be a good pull for you this might actually be worth it because this is the start of the power creep which is if you're gonna start doing power creep this is where you want to go now especially if you don't have if you don't have sephiroth's wind um gear as well that only only gives them 20 percent, not the 35 this is really probably going to be a very good banner to pull on uh especially if you don't if you don't have anything wind you don't have you don't have Aerith's option you don't have clouds or cloud sephiroth's option this is 100 this is a banner to pull on um i i i personally am not going to pull on it because I'm kind of changing up my gears on how I'm going to pull for things because I'm starting to see the value in some of the non-elemental weapons because those seem to, especially the really strong ones, like we saw with Zidane's sword and also Tifa's gloves, getting those to OB6 or even OB10, saving up 100,000 gems or something or crystals, that could be huge in the long run and add so much more. So, and this is also a weapon, again, I can get anytime I want. The main thing I'd be missing out on would be her wind arcanum uh outfit there so that's kind of the thing where i'm like eh i already have a wind outfit it's only 20 percent i'm eventually gonna get this weapon anyway so it's I, I don't personally feel like i'm missing out on a whole lot but if you didn't get Aerith's outfit if you didn't get sephiroth's outfit and you're lacking in those weapons as well this is 100 percent a banner to pull on no no way no if ands or what's buts what whatever you however that goes about it you know so I would I would definitely pull on this banner. It's a it's a good weapon. It's gonna find use, especially for the event right now. So if you want to do well in the event, you want to try to get all the rewards. You know, it, there might be just an icon. I know on the last like on the last event there was actually an icon. We'll, we'll go ahead and take a look at that here. It's Secret sweetheart. There it is. So this is gonna be very similar to the last event. So we'll check that out in a little bit here. Um, so if you go into here and you go into score battles. There's going to be enemies here, and generally the enemies are designed around whatever that banner is. So last time it was the Christmas banner. So there was a mission. I'm assuming that's probably going to be here. So we take out, check out the events. Raise oven mitts. Okay, that's the free weapon. Um, consume 100 stamina. And if it's not here now, it's probably going to show up. So if you're big on the icons as well, you're probably going to want to check it out. Uh, here's the new wallpaper. Let's check this out. See how that... It's not animated. Are they not doing animated wallpapers anymore? <laughs> uh, interesting. Okay. Huh. Maybe it's a glitch. I, it's probably an error. I bet it's. I bet somehow an image got put in. Maybe instead of a video. I. I don't. I don't know. Cause. But. But anyway, it does. Uh, I, I would highly recommend go ahead and do this poll here. You get the free ten free draws. Don't forget. Uh, this one's also a great deal here if you want to get that. But the banner. Wow, three banners going right now. I didn't realize this Yuffie one was still going. It ends tomorrow. Two days? Two days. 
but go ahead. I would say get this Yuffie banner if you, if you really want it. If you're lacking in the things, I'm personally not, so I'm gonna go ahead and skip it. I'm gonna I'm pers I'm, I'm I'm actually gonna try to wait for the next limited banner and go hard on that with uh, you know save up tons of gems throughout, and then you know eventually this weapon will end up showing up over here in the tickets. So if you if you don't want to pull on the banner, that's fine as well. You'll end up getting it over here. So and I'm gonna be pulling and, and, and actually last thing today too. The ticket draws got updated today, so now it has things like Sky Splitter in it. You have, uh, where is it? Micro Lasers in here now. So a lot of weapons that were not in here before. There was like six new ones that just got added. So I'm gonna go hard on this. I've been waiting for those Sky Splitters to show up in there. Same thing with Sephiroth's version, the uh, Radiant Edge. Been waiting for those to pop up. Obviously, it's pure luck whether or not I get them, but I've got about 500 tickets and I got the other free polls. I'm going to have a ton, so I'm going to be doing that later today on stream and I'll, I'll upload that later if you guys want to check it out. But that pretty much covers it. I would say go ahead. So again, pull on the banner if you, if you need win stuff. Uh, you really can't go wrong with it. If you decide not to or to do it because you have don't have win stuff or if you already have win stuff, you do it, you're really not missing out. But it is our big first power. It's our first official power creep. It's not huge, but it is there. And we're going to basically start, what we're going to start seeing, as you can see from this, is the same exact design weapons for other characters, but just more damage. And that's that's pretty much what's going to happen. It's the name of the game. Games, they usually have to go somewhere. I'm a little surprised they didn't go with some kind of... Um, some kind of support option for Yuffie because everything else so far she's had is support. So this is kind of interesting, but, but anyway, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace. Thank you for watching the video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit like and subscribe. You can catch me live every single day on Twitch and YouTube. So be sure to check the links down below in the description for my channels and I will see you guys on the next video.